Hello, my vacuum cleaner chums, and welcome to the Mila S7, the first in hopefully a few videos of this fine machine, and an introduction to my not so fine example. The S7 upright range was introduced in 2008 in the UK at least, and looking at this witch article had a wide range of machines at launch, my S7260 catalog being a fairly bottom of the range model. It certainly looks shiny and sleek when new. My dad has had an S7260 from new. In fact, I assembled it for him the day it arrived, but I've never owned my own until now. Mine was very, very cheap, as usual for the machines I buy, and was dropped off to my house on Saturday morning. Here it is. Initial issues are it's utterly battered and won't stand up, as you can tell by me leaning up against the bin. And the motor is also a little bit peaky. Let's have a listen. So, as one collector pointed out, it sounded like an air raid siren. For some reason, he declined my offer of posting it to him so he could make his own. Very strange. Anyhow, the motor has to come out to see if I can resurrect it. So here follows a short slideshow showing the strip down as I didn't film it. First the back door came off and all the torque screws holding the prop to the bottom came out. And yes, it did get lightly rained on because we were working outside and it rained. With that separated, two screws removed the bottom trim panel and two more the top panel. The black cover piece being on the wonk was not helping it standing up issues. The half broken post filter cover off next and I think the active air clean post motor filter is a little past it. Might not put that back in. Underneath now and three large screws here and three small ones on the front remove the base plate. Revealing the brush roll which I think is a tad worn but seems to work okay and look at that hefty brush roll motor I've seen made suction motors that size. This bent up piece lifts off now it does slide about okay but I think somebody's been in here before. Four more screws remove the motor housing from the machine revealing the excellent condition motor. Now run with this. It's unplugged and lifts out very easily. For those of you who remember the Mila Revolution S5980 I had last year, that is no more. I gave up and stripped some parts out of it and sent it to the tip. I saved the motor and had intended to just drop it in. However, there's a size difference. Bugger. Hey ho. Let's have it apart anyway. And wow, that's burning out of good em. Mystery solved. The aforementioned size issue was a tad annoying, but I had a thought, so stripped the S5980 motor down and had the armature out. Wasn't exactly the picture of health itself, but did run and was exactly the same size, so it could be swapped over. The carbons on the left are from the S7 and on the right from the S5. They are a different length though. But I greased up the quite seized bearing from the S5 armature using spray grease but did have to use the S7 carbons as the S5 ones are longer. I did think about breaking out the side of the motor so they could be extended out, but thought there might be an issue with electricity escaping, plus I'd have had to tape stuff around and make it safe. Done and back together, I found the missing rubber mount still fitted to the housing after taking this picture, and the result, well... So, I have fixed the motor, ish, but it's not incredibly happy plus you can't see it because I haven't got the flash on but this wheel isn't fixed it moves so Stand the machine up and it falls over. <laughs> Fiddlesticks, not quite. So back out with everything which means dripping it all back down as above. 
I fixed this cord booty, although neglected to take a picture of the finished result and had the motor back out and apart again and changed the bearings at 10.45 on a Saturday night. A bit hardcore, but was it any better? Well, I packed up anyway and had a go. New bearings. A little bit better, but the carbons are bad, which doesn't help. And despite the fan being clean, it sounds awful and runs hot, but it does run. As I mentioned in the captions, it sounds almost normal. It is quite loud, but then that might be partly due to the lack of post motor filter. The stink of carbons when you ramp it up to full as well, so it's not perfect. Needs work, but it's better than before. So I packed up and did a proper first look video that we all know and enjoy. And here it is after repairing the motor to an acceptable standard. It's not perfect, but as you will see, it's not perfect. I shall do the actual running video another day because it's quarter past 11 here and now. So let us go through my cheap, cheap Mila S7. Uh, what is the ratings number? I don't actually know what the model number is. Let's start there. It is an S7260. And while we're underneath, it is heavily used. It just about grooms. Very soft and I think very worn. Base plate is probably actually filthy rather than utterly knackered. So that might be quite nice. These wheels do not seem to come out as much as they should. Not quite sure what's going on with that. And I still don't quite know how to get the casing sitting completely correctly. So, well, actually, that's probably not helping, is it? Because it's all smashed. I've had you apart a few times now. Oh, there you go, that's clipped in a little bit. The casing doesn't work too well. Ah, well, as has demonstrated itself. This was the post-motor filter, which I am not refitting. It was an active air clean. This, sadly, has one lug here. I need to clean that out as well, but a snapped-off lug there. Might be able to make something budget so that sort of goes there there you go it just will not stand up which is a shame because the pedal works all that bit was jammed up and as you can see it sort of jams itself up now you've got to well i've got to you i'm going to do anything come on i think it's a combination that i haven't quite got it together as it should and it's broken. Come on. It's just jamming up there. We'll leave that. No, we won't. Oh, yeah, we will leave it for now, actually. And I'll show you the bag compartment. Again, one of the little lugs broke off. It has a non genuine bag. And a fairly clean, actually, pre motor filter. So we'll leave that there and close that up out of the way bit of paint on there but it all it all works oh let me pause there we go so the one sadly is broken because there is no clip i think i've got one in the shed and the the one itself is quite battered Sod up there. It's quite well used. <laughs> Very light though. And I presume quite extended, but I'm not doing it one handed. 
So we'll pop that back in its little house. I do quite like the hose. Look how stretchy it is. That's quite cool. I do like that. It's a bit twisted actually. But, Gail, it seems to have overstretched itself. Because look, it's just got, this is too much. Yeah. And I don't quite know why, but we won't worry about that too much for now. What was my oil leaking? And that's just water for me. It was outside earlier. I'm going to tip it forward so it doesn't try and kill me. And we'll look at the tools. There is a very used dusting brush. Focus. Very used dusting brush. A very nice long crevice tool. Again, a little bit used. And an upholstery brush, which doesn't quite look genuine to me. So that's the main machine. But also, I've got one of these Miele bags. I've now got a second one. Yes. Let's see what's inside this, shall we? If I can work out how to get into it. I think I'll just go tip it all, uh, tip it all out. I'm going to keep the other one because this one is best. Oh, there you go. Is that everything? No, that's not everything. Hang on. Ah, do so what's in the bag of mystery i've not actually been through this yet well we have a eh? mila turbo comfort oh i've never known them called turbo comfort before but it's basically one of the aero brushes that should be nice i keep that to go in my s5 because i don't actually have well i, I do have an air powered turbo brush for it but mum's using it on hers there's also this, which I am keeping, but ooh, might not. It's one of the matches tools. But I mean, look at the state of that. No, I think I might bend that. That's, yeah, I mean, look at it, it's knackered. Okay, that'll be bent. Ooh. Ooh, I think I might keep the non-genuine... I might have a genuine upholstery tool in the shed. Because that's been binned as well. But the crevice tool's not bad. We'll keep that. Oh. She said she had a cylinder. But I reckon that's what they're from. What have we got here? Well, it's Bojack City, really. Lots and lots of cylinder. Slight shame, because... I'm basically just going to use these for everything but a Mila because I don't like using pattern bags with a Mila too much. I'll keep the one in there because, let's be honest, I can't really make that any worse than it already is. But they might fit the backs. They might fit something else. I probably won't give them to Mum because I don't want to knacker up her machine and I have seen machines knackered up with these. This is quite handy though. It's generic, horrible, but... Cut your own filter material. That's always handy to have for machines that need filters that I can't bother to buy. So what's this? I shall show you the address because it's not mine. She did tell me what this was. She said she bought the, a filter, but it was the wrong one. Shall we see? Thank you for your Amazon purchase. What has she bought and can I use it? Yes, I can. I can use it myself. Ooh, I can use it myself. This will fit my S5. Sweet. Not that my S5 needs a Bojack Active Air Clean Tool. So I use the generic -y one. I think she's even tried to use this. This isn't brand new. I might give it to Mum. It's been used. I, 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 I reckon she's tried to put it in that. She did say she bought it for that. And it was the wrong one. She did tell me this. Thank you for buying from Filter Puffy on Amazon Marketplace. Well done, Filter Puffy. Not too bad. So I'll probably find a use for that. 
either on mine or my mum's or on anything else. So there we go. You would have seen, I didn't film the first bit, so you've had the slideshow and the very first noise of it. So you've had the very quick video, I'll pop it in, of me using it. Oh, I might pop it out, actually. I need to review it. If you don't see a short film before this one of it being used, I have fixed it, ish. It smells a little bit carbony. I will I'll do a proper use when it's not half past 11 at night. So, thank you very much for watching part one of the cheap Mila S7 saga. We'll try and do a little bit with this. See if I can get a little mini series going. So we've had it from scrap to still scrap. Let's be honest, it runs, but it's still scrap. Let's see what part two brings. Probably just be using it quite a lot. It should. It. I will refurbish it, but not. I'm not going to prioritise it amongst anything else. It's 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 very much low down on the priority list just because it's just too gone. For me to probably sell it so it'll just be a fun mess around machine and then i'll probably give it to tab or someone so thank you very much for watching and goodbye